Good afternoon. We're broadcasting live from Jason's room. Just a reminder that the devotions that I'm sharing from here to the end of the year are a part of a project by Sisters in the Word, made up of clergy sisters and lay sisters in the faith who have a desire to share a good word from the Lord. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Father, I stretch my hand to thee. No other help I know. If thou withdraw thyself from me, where shall I go? God, in these times of slowing down and sheltering in place, remind us of the power of the stretch. Allow us to stretch our hands up to you in prayer, to stretch our bodies in service to others, to stretch our minds through your word, and to stress, stretch our faith in you. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 1 Corinthians 9.25 reads like this. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They train so they can win the prize. Did you know that stretching was good for the body and the mind? It simulates receptors in the nervous system that slow down the production of stress hormones. It increases flexibility and range of motions and blood flow. The reduction of fatigue and stress and anxiety that stretching produces can also help your brain to slow down so that you can think more clearly and react with more precision. Stretching can help give us a lift when we're down. We, we know a little bit about being stretched physically, but what about being stretched spiritually? When you're being spiritually stretched, God is growing your faith. When you're being spiritually stretched, God is moving you often to a new level. level. When you're being stretched relationally, selfishness dies and love grows. So are you being stretched today? God allows us to have some stretching experiences that prepare us for the race that God has called us to run. Sometimes, you know, we hit a wall spiritually. And sometimes when we hit that wall, the command, the call, the remedy, is to just stretch. Oh, these stretching moments aren't the final test. No, they are preparation so that when the test comes, we are able to stand. We're living in a testing time right now, testing our faith in God, testing our faith in our society, and even testing our faith in one another. God is stretching us today so that in the weeks and months to come, the church of God can stand strong for the prize is nothing less than the souls of human beings. Amen.